I'm going to talk today about using Skype to get computer help for some of our members. Members come to our meetings and can get lots of computer help at a meeting. But there are some who either can't come to meetings or who can't bring their computer to meetings. We help people when they bring in their laptops, but I haven't seen anybody yet bring in their desktop and say, let me show you what happens when. And that's what I'm talking about in this presentation. Well, first, what is Skype and how does it work? Well, if you go to Google and you type in Skype, and search for that, you will find a website called www.skype.com and it says it's free calls to friends and family. Stay in touch with your family and friends for free on Skype. Download Skype today to chat and call on desktop and mobile. So, if you go to download Skype, you will see Skype for Windows desktop get Skype for Windows desktop. Now, since I already have Skype on uh, my computer, I'm not going to walk you through uh, uh, downloading it. In fact, I have Skype on my uh, taskbar. So, if I click there, Skype will open. And there it is. So what can you do with Skype? Well, Skype was just bought by Microsoft. And Microsoft is hyping Skype. So let me just tell you what I have used it for. I've used it mostly for video calls. In particular, this last Christmas, my wife and I Skyped with my granddaughter and her children, my great-grandchildren, there are four of them, and watched them open the Christmas presents that we had sent them in Florida. Uh, we had our laptop going, and they had their laptop going, and I could see what the camera in the lid of their laptop was showing, which was... Uh, the children running around opening presents and they could see our faces and we could hear each other's voices because we were making a video call. Now there are other things that Skype can do. You can do a just plain voice call if you don't have a camera attached to your computer uh, but you have to have a microphone of course and you can do screen sharing and that's what I'm eventually going to get to in this presentation because one person on one end of the Skype call can see what the other person's computer screen is showing. And I think that would be useful for computer help. So now let's actually make a Skype call. I'm going to call my wife, Gloria, who is actually in the, in the next room. Uh, you do this over the internet. You don't need to have anything except a good internet connection. And you have to have set up one of your contacts to be the person that you call. By the way, oh, I know. Let's, uh, let's do something else first. Let's search for a, uh, a new contact. We'll say Dan Coville, C-O-V-I-L-L. -L search Skype. Well, there are a lot of Dan Colvilles. There's one in Fort Collins. There's one in Brighton, United Kingdom. But there's also one here named Dan slash Marty Colville. I happen to know that our Dan Colville's wife's name is Marty. So if I wanted to set Dan Coville up as one of my contacts, I would click on that and I would say Dan Marty Coville is not in your contacts 
and then I could add to contacts and send him a Skype message, which he will see the next time he, I think it's the next time he goes online. I think it, it is uh, repeated to his email. At any rate, uh, I'm not going to call Dan Coville today. I'm going to call Gloria Drayton. So if I click Gloria Drayton, who is already on my contact list, and I come up here and it says Gloria Drayton is online, and I have two or three choices. I can send a text message here. Uh, I can make a, uh, an audio call by clicking here on the telephone symbol, or I can make a video call, and that's what I'm going to do. All right, we are now going to make a call to Gloria Drayton on a video call. I click the video icon and it is calling and now there is Gloria. She can see me, is that right love? Okay, and I can see her. Now, Gloria would you please click the plus button at the bottom of your screen and then click share screen. and then start. There we are. Now Skype is getting ready to send me a picture of what's on Gloria's screen. And at the moment, that's a thing that comes up when my camera is, uh, is on that lets me adjust the settings on my camera. But right now, I am actually seeing what is on Gloria's uh, computer screen. And if, uh, if she will click the uh, AOL mail in the upper left-hand corner, it will shift from the financial markets to her email. Uh, click it again. There we go. So as you see, Skype can be used to see either the person or persons that you're talking to on a video call and to talk with them, or to see their screen. And you can actually still see them in a, in a smaller screen up here on the right. Skype is pretty versatile. So now let's review how you use Skype and how you would use it to get computer help. We're looking at my computer screen again and we're assuming that you do not have Skype. To get it you type Skype into your search window, you search on Google for Skype and you click download Skype. And when you get there you click on the Windows desktop arrow which brings you to the screen which will take you to the place where you can get Skype for Windows desktop. Now when you have done that you go to your Skype start place which could be in your your start menu. In my case it's on my uh, on my taskbar and you start Skype. And when Skype starts you first have to put in a, you have to choose a name, I chose my real name, and then you have to choose a password and sign in. Uh, once you have done that, if you stay, say keep me signed in, it will come up just as mine just did with you already signed in. The next thing you need to do is find the people that you want to talk to or video with. So you would click search 
and you would put in someone like Dan Coville. I just went through that and search for them. Dan, not Zoville, C O V I L L. Search for him. Pick the one that uh, you believe is the Dan Coville you want to talk to and send them a message to add to uh, to your contact list. Sometimes you'll be able to tell who it is because there is a picture that goes with that person. Once you have done that, you then can choose one of those contacts that you have found as I have done with my wife Gloria. You click on them and then you can do a video or an audio call. Their computer has to be on, they have to be on the internet, and they have to have Skype running. You can have Skype running in the background, it doesn't have to be your current program that you're running, but it has to be running. So, let me demonstrate once again. Gloria is not sitting at her computer, but I can run back and forth and pretend I'm her. So, it's now calling. Or his computer. And I have run back and forth and answered the call at Gloria's computer and clicked the plus sign down at the bottom of the Skype, Skype screen on Gloria's computer. And that brought up a bunch of options, one of which was share screens, which I clicked and then clicked start on the start sharing window that came up. And now on my computer, I am looking at Gloria's computer screen. Now, as an illustration of how this might be used for seniors helping seniors, let's say that Gloria called me and said, I am having a problem signing into AOL. When I put in my username and then my password and I click sign in, the following error message comes up on my screen. And uh, I she called me on the telephone and I said, uh, let's Skype together and I'll look and see that at that error message. So uh, we did, we Skyped, and when the error message came up, I could see it on her screen. I could actually, I think I could copy and paste it into uh, Google on my computer. Uh, if I couldn't copy and paste it, I could certainly write it down and perhaps help her that way. So I think this is a good thing for the seniors computer to try for seniors helping seniors, especially those members of the senior computer group who can't come to meetings or uh, can't bring their computer to meetings. So I'm willing to be the guinea pig to try this. Uh, my Skype name is my real name, Hank Drayton. My telephone number is on the seniors computer group website. You can call me if you have a computer problem, and I will try to help you solve it via my looking at your computer on Skype. You will have to download Skype and set it up with a username and a password before we try this. But I'd like to see if it works. Thank you for listening.